Hey everybody, this is Coach Desmond, and if you're looking for ways to go ahead and five to sometimes 10X your productivity, I got a good one here for you today on that. You know, a lot of us, when we think of productivity, we kind of have it in our mind, and I'm speaking to you, perfectionist, so I'm speaking to you, and also for those of you who have, who have in your mind that, oh my gosh, this is really gonna be good, he's gonna show me how to go ahead and do all the things on my list, and not exactly, and all stuff. So how does one five to 10X? Well, let me tell you how you don't increase your productivity by trying to be productive in every single thing. If there's any recipe of getting caught up in the bottleneck, it's trying to go ahead and basically be great and try to go ahead and knock off every particular thing of no significance. Where am I going with this? Our tactic today is simply this. If you're gonna to five to 10X your productivity, you're gonna to have to go ahead and learn how to go ahead and focus on the critical few. You know, so I'm listening to one of my online mentors, Robin Sharma, and he brought up this uh, matter of fact tactic, and I loved it because this is oftentimes what happens to us as entrepreneurs, particularly as the large as the organization gets bigger. You know, it feels as if we're basically doing all this juggling, and we find ourselves doing a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily move the needle. We become very good at knocking out a lot of things that quote unquote don't matter. So when he gave this instruction, I wanted to go ahead and bring this over here to you. And for a lot of you right now, the reason why you have been basically now doing push-ups on Jello, or so it or so it feels and so it seems, is because you are focusing on a lot of things, but not on the things that actually move that needle. You know, it's often been said that matter of fact that 20% of the things you do results in over 80% of your results. This is true. So, what is today's exercise? Well, you've already, already figured it out. I want you to go ahead and ask yourself, what are the things that basically, if done, literally domino to affect the outcome? That one thing. I'll give you an example here. I know every time I get a chance to do more free coaching sessions, it typically leads to most customers. Out of everything I do, the complimentary coaching sessions do it every single time. So what, if I'm working on basically filing paperwork or working on social media, which are okay, that's not the critical few. The critical few is sitting down and spending all my time working out and getting individuals complimentary coaching sessions because that's the one thing that dominoes and affects the outcome. And I'm gonna challenge you right now as your coach. What's the one thing that you do? I want you to sit down right now and think about What's the one activity that you do that when you simply do it on that, it causes a domino effect that affects the outcome? It's the one thing. For some people, it's simply showing up. For some people, it's simply when you're turning on or starting a new program. Whatever that is, I want you to go ahead and sit down and think about it. Once you get it, repeat it over and over again. Guys, identifying the critical few is literally, well, matter of fact, is literally the game changer that's gonna go ahead and determine on whether you're gonna go ahead and increase your productivity by five or 10. Listen, being able to do a lot of the right things will cause you to go ahead and accelerate in this season. So if productivity is on your mind and you're constantly beating your head against the wall asking, how can I be more productive? The key is not in doing more, it's in doing more of less. <laughs> Did that make sense? <laughs> but it's like <laughs> fewer things, but doing it more often. That's what I meant to say. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you like what you heard here today, hey, here's your next step. Go ahead and share this with at least three people. Surely there are people out there right now who are frustrated that you know it very well, who are looking for ways to go ahead and what get the edge. Go ahead and basically be a good friend and share that with them. Also, if you're looking at this, you like saying, Des, I'm liking what you're hearing here on that, can we work together? And the answer is yes. So if you're interested in terms of getting a complimentary one-on-one -on -one free coaching session, why don't you go ahead and click on the link below. I would love to get a chance to work with you directly and move on from there. Okay, guys, this has been Coach Desmond. You take care and don't forget, be great and stay clear.